in one part of the application, there is uh, the implementation of the project, which means those steps that will take you from the beginning to end, and those activities that will lead you to, re to meet the objectives and achieve the results that you promised earlier in the proposal. Now, activities could be the development of outputs, training to test outputs, dissemination activities, all leading towards the results that you promised. Now, what activities should you put in your project? First of all, your project needs to have a logic. There needs to have a sequence of events that are related to each other, not activities everywhere at random. So, for example, you have a preparatory action, then, for example, meeting and profiling the audience so that you know what needs precisely each profile needs to have although you must not start say that you're starting the project without having an idea of what the needs are. You have needs, but in the project you can put a preparatory action to understand the specific needs. And then if you are designing a training, for example, you say that you're designing the training using the expertise of the partners, you design the training and then there is the training content and then there is the training activity to test and to get feedback from the beneficiaries. It could be that, for example, if you are designing training for the ultimate beneficiaries, you test it with the trainers. So you have a train the trainers activity so that they can give you feedback. This is usable. This is usable in my context. I know there is a challenge. I, I see there is a missing gap. Another activity would be to perfect and maybe test again. All the activities need to have a logic. There is, needs to be a cause or a reason for an activity, so that that activity is a cause of a result, of an effect. And all this needs to lead to an objective or the objectives that you promised. Now there are some horizontal activities in the project lifetime. So there is the implementation from A to Z, but then there needs to be the horizontal management and reporting. What is important is that there is a horizontal activity of the valorization. How are you going to measure and monitor the activities in so far as there is the learning curve okay so that you know what you need to improve it is part of the quality management of the project because there can be quality this could be another horizontal activity quality of the management feedback from the partners whether they know what's happening etc and feedback from the content of training for example then the valorization is when you keep on to measure the impact that this activity or a specific activity had on the partners, on the participants, on the stakeholders, depending on the character of the project, of course. So these activities uh, need to have a why do you need this activity. An activity has to be needed and has to be also value added to the project in general. If you design a, tra a training and you don't even test it and you say, oh, I'm happy we produced it, really there is a missing gap there. If you have not man managed to tap stakeholders that could possibly adopt this training outside the project partnership, then you have a missing gap again. So the activities must make sense, all in relation to the results you want to achieve, to the objectives you want to reach, and in relation to each other. There needs to be a logic. It is like cooking. You start with the ingredients, but the ingredients must be there because you need them, because they have to perform or deliver a taste, even if it is an aftertaste.